spirit of Andrew Halliday is certainly here after that. Thank you so much. I haven't heard a live bagpipe in a very long time. I'm Deb Hunt. I'm the library director here at the Mechanics Institute. And I'm curious how many of you have never been here before? Could you just show by a raise of hands? OK. Well, you're in for a great treat. This is just the third floor of our beautiful library. We have a whole second floor downstairs with much higher ceilings than this. We've been here. Uh, in this building since 1910, which was built after the earthquake. We've been around since 1854. And if you are a member or a non-member, we have a free tour every Wednesday at noon. And on February 22nd, we have a night tour coming up. So I encourage you to come. It's at 6 o'clock, and the noon tours obviously are at noon every Wednesday. I hope that you had an opportunity to, uh, I, all of you should have had a little brochure on your um, chair. And this is from Peter, who couldn't be here tonight, but his company is Adacule. And Mr. Halliday's portrait is up here. That's why we're meeting on the third floor tonight. And it's a live sitting of him um, in his old age. Taryn will tell you more about that. But the frame, if you look in your brochure, there's, a bef there's before and after. This frame was cracked. It had kind of oxidized. And uh, Peter was able to restore it beautifully. And he couldn't be here tonight, but he wanted to produce a piece uh, that you could take with you just to show what the before and after was. And we don't have the table that's in there with the uh, dragon. That's not us. But he's done some great work. Um, so I really, and he's helping sponsor this tonight. The other person who's sponsoring this is Jim Shine. Where's Jim? There you are. Come on over. Do you want to say a few words? Jim is from Shine and Shine one of our favorite members because he shares such great information with us. Hi, everybody. Um, one of the reasons I'm actually here is because I was asked to underwrite this event with Peter, um, and which was a privilege. It was one of the events that I aspire to be involved with, um, an event where we, uh, through our underwriting, we can invite uh, new guests and bring friends and have no cost to members and um, kind of extol the merits of that which we already have. Um, the collections at the library are fantastic, and uh, the only way that we really um, understand them is to engage with them. Um, the last and most current administration of the library has made great effort to um, restore and revitalize some of our great ownership, and this is one of those pieces. Um, Halliday um, is an important member, which Taryn will discuss. Um, the frame was a beautiful period frame. And it was in rough shape. And uh, my wife, Marty, and I have an antique map business up on Grant Avenue. And we do uh, history and, and maps. And I also frame. So all of the uh, frames in the Mechanics Institute that are in Oak uh, were framed by us for the Susquecentennial, which was about 10 years ago or so. So um, we had a framing relationship with the MI. And uh, they came to us a year or two ago and said, we have this marvelous piece. How can we get this back up to snuff? And so we recommended Ada Kuehl and Peter. Um, Peter's uh, a graduate of the oldest guild in the world, the Framing Guild uh, of Amsterdam. It dates back to the 1400s. Um, he's got a fine classical education in carving wood and plaster gilt work. Um, so we were fortunate. And one of the reasons I live here is because people of that caliber live here. And we get to have really cool stuff like that. So fortunately, um, we had both budget and impetus and motivation and follow through. And so that's what we have here. And that's why I'm involved. So um, I'm glad that you're here. I'm excited to hear what Tara has to say because uh, Halliday is a much bigger figure than just the cable car, and I'm very interested to hear about that. So we'll see you guys later. And I'd like to just say, too, if you get a chance, if you've not been back into our classrooms, Mr. McNamara, who gave us quite an endowment to preserve things like this painting and have the frame restored, build our classrooms out and do other things, left us a great bequest. Those were the McNamara classrooms. And then current sponsors like Jim at, um, and Marty at Shine and Shine and Peter at Ada Kuehl have really helped us currently. But without further ado, I'm going to introduce our marketing membership public services librarian, Taryn Edwards, who knows everything there is to know about Mr. Halliday. And she can tell you, she's going to tell you some great stories. So Taryn, it's all yours. Thanks. Let's welcome her. Hey, thank you. I don't know everything about Andrew Halliday, but I, I aim to at some point. <laughs> um, so hey, thank you for coming tonight. Uh, first, I'd like to thank Mr. Andrew Halliday himself uh, for making this event possible. Uh, seriously, he, he spent 40 years of his life actively working to um, 
to uh, realize the Mechanics Institute's aims, and without his fidelity to its cause, we would not be here tonight. I'd also like to thank uh, my coworkers. <laughs> um, I'm so happy that they don't roll their eyes at me every time I uh, talk about uh, my passion. <laughs> and I'd also like to thank the members of the Mechanics Institute. Uh, you are fantastic. All right, so tonight's sponsors include Shine and Shine of North Beach and Adicule. Um, they have been, uh, Shine and Shine has been instrumental in helping Mechanics Institute uh, preserve its art, and Adicule handled the restoration of the portrait itself, and I must congratulate them both for their fantastic work and outstanding generosity and, um, and our continued relationship. Last, I'd like to honor the um, Institute for Historical Study, which is an Oakland-based community group of uh, researchers and writers and artists. And they recently granted me a research stipend uh, that helped with the content of this talk. And if you are a researcher or a writer or artist, I encourage you to check out their website because they are a great group. And they have research stipends. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so let me introduce myself. I've uh, worked at Mechanics Institute for eight years, and um, I've always been interested in its history, but about four years ago, I just walked by that portrait one day, and I thought, wow, who is that guy? Um, so I've become fascinated with his contributions to uh, uh, library 